So in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can make a couple of different styles of house, tech housey kind of bass lines without needing a synthesizer, just using an audio file and the plugins that you have inside Ableton Live. And that can be Ableton Live Lite, it doesn't need to be a paid version. And this is what we're going to be making. Okay guys, so the first thing you're gonna need to follow along with this tutorial um, is a really small audio file um, that you can download by clicking the link in the description below. You don't need to put an email in or anything like that. It's just a quick download link. Uh, and then once you've got that audio file, uh, it's gonna look uh, like this. So um, it's gonna be called TAJ uh, Bass Hit C. So once you've got that downloaded, um, that'll be in your downloads folder somewhere or wherever you've popped it. Um, then you're going to come into Ableton. Um, so I've just got some basic drums here. I'm going to turn that down a little bit. Uh, let's have a listen to these. There we go. So we're just going to be popping uh, a couple of different styles of bass line over that. So the first thing we're going to do uh, is right click in this empty space and create a MIDI track. And uh, now uh, you might see from the color coding here, all of my bass lines I have blue, all of my drums always red. Uh, so let's rename that bass. Cool. Uh, then what we're going to do is we're going to come into instruments and you're going to grab a simpler. And as I said, this works in any version of Ableton Live uh, because simpler is pretty much all we're going to be using in this tutorial. And you can get that in Ableton Live Lite. And this audio file is what we're going to be dragging and dropping into it. So head into your downloads folder and grab that audio file and you're simply going to drag and drop it where it says drop sample here um cool there we go so now if you've got a midi keyboard plugged in um that's awesome but if not then you can press this button just up here and that's going to turn your physical keyboard uh, into an actual keyboard so if you press a for alpha now um once you've hit record enable just down here on this bass track So I'm just walking up my keyboard here, so A, S, D, F. There we go. If you've got a MIDI keyboard, you can plug that in and play that or a launch pad or whatever. Um, I'm going to be using uh, my push two. Uh, that's what I use to play notes in. Um, but that's sort of irrelevant. So what we've got here is that audio file, which is just a really uh, sort of rough and raw bass hit loaded into a simpler. And now what we're going to do is we're going to manipulate that. Uh, using a filter, using an envelope uh, to make it sound sort of half decent. Um, it's not going to sound like, you know, a really nice serum patch or a really nice um, sort of analog synthesizer, but it's pretty much completely free. Um, and it's a really good way to get started and start to understand how filtering works in bass lines. So um, what we're going to do um, is we're going to come in and we're just going to pull this filter down to start with. So the filter, uh, like the EQ, uh, you can see here, that we've got a low pass filter on, which means that um, anything below 22 Hertz is allowed to pass um, and anything above that. So if we bring this to 3K just there, anything below 3K is allowed to come through, but anything above it is cut out. Um, so we're only gonna be hearing the low frequencies, the lower frequencies as we pull this down. So let's listen to that. Okay, so you're definitely going to need good headphones for this. I'm going to turn that up a little bit uh, using this volume knob just here. Okay, that's just me sort of playing with this frequency knob just here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play in a little pattern. Uh, I'm going to open up the frequency just a little bit so that we can hear that. Um, it's just going to be a really simple, like sort of few notes, kind of rolling bass line, like salado type thing. So we've got a little one bar loop of a kind of rolling bass line there. Uh, and the bass line is sort of starting to tape shape even with the filter just coming down. So let's drag that down a little bit more. Now, 
Now that's really not too dissimilar to a lot of kind of tech house style bass lines you're going to find. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is show you that you've got a few different filter options in here that sound a little bit different. Um, and these are basically modeled on analog synthesizers uh, like Moog synthesizers uh, and other synthesizers. So we're just going to click a slightly different one of these. And that gives you a drive option. So you can add some sort of drive, sort of distortion, saturation kind of stuff, which is going to sound really cool. So let's do that. Okay, so definitely make sure you're listening on headphones, um, but that's going to sound really, really meaty uh, if you are listening on headphones. So let's have another listen to that. Cool, so before we go any further, should have done this at the start, uh, we want to make sure that we can only play one note at a time on this. So we're going to switch voices to one just here. Okay, so now what we're going to do um, is we want this filter to sort of open up at the start of every note. And the way that we can do that is go into controls just here and hit envelope. Now what this envelope does um, is with the amount, you can sort of pull the filter up or down um, to a different starting position to where it is. So if I pull this up, that means that the filter is going to start open. You can go up or down by 72. Uh, so we're going to go up about halfway. And what that does is the filter is going to start more open than it is. And it's going to come back down over the course of 600 milliseconds. So let's have a listen to that. So this is it off and I'm going to slowly drag it up. What you can also do at this point is change that 600 milliseconds decay time. So I'm going to bring this back down and I'm going to drag this uh, decay time up a little bit until it sounds better. There we go, that's a really, really nice start to a decent sounding sort of tech house rolling bass line. Another option that we can go for is a kind of sort of bouncier, um, pluckier kind of bass line. So let's go ahead and delete what we've got in here. Um, drag another simpler on just so that we're starting from scratch. Drag that audio file back in. Um, Cool, so that's what we've got there. Turn the voices to one again, so that we can only play one note at a time. You don't want bass chords, that's not a thing. Um, so what we're gonna do, again, is we're gonna pull that frequency down. Um, first of all, let's play in another, another little pattern. There we go, so not the most exciting bass line in the world, but what I'm gonna do is show you how we can tweak this into a kind of bouncier um, style of bass line. So, um, what we're going to do again is we're going to pull that frequency down. Going to put a funky filter on there. I really like how the MS2 sounds. We're going to add some drive, maybe add a little bit more volume. Let's see how that's sounding. Really, really deep. Um, cool. We're going to click on envelope again just here. Add to the amount. There we go, and we're pretty much there. So even with just adding some amount, um, you can tweak this to K time. And release. But if we pull this down again. There we go, it's a couple of really simple sort of start off 
baselines uh, that you can then build on that you can add some effects to uh, to get you started with some house or tech house tracks so there we go guys i really hope you found this useful and if you did then feel free to drop a like just down there i really really appreciate it um, and if you want some more help with topics like this like music production topics for beginners and beyond then i run a music production explained facebook group where i'm active every day to answer your questions and i also do a live stream every week that you can pre-submit questions to and then catch the replay uh, if you can't watch the whole thing so it's a really good place to get your questions answered thanks for spending a bit of time with me today and i really hope to see you again in the next video take care